Joining us now to discuss uh, the, whether the Giants are buyers or sellers is Marty Lurie. And Marty, uh, earlier today, Billy Bean announcing the A's are in a full rebuilding mode parallel with that new stadium. Uh, the Giants about to cross that bridge, or is the term rebuild not in their vocabulary? Yeah, not rebuild. Uh, they know they have some holes to fill, that they'd like to do that, but there is never going to be a rebuild here. Should there be a rebuild? Not exactly, no. Uh, if, you, if you can bring your pitching staff back, Get Will Smith back, get your bullpen back, and win 50 games at home by playing good defense, good outfield defense, and have good starting pitching, and then split the games on the road. There's your 90. The core of the team is still here. They do need new outfielders, but basically, if you brought the team back with some new outfielders, I think they're good enough to be the Giants again. Okay, that's there are a lot of ifs, right? Uh, the starting rotation right now hasn't panned out. Obviously, Bumgarner, that's a fluke thing, the accident. He'll probably be okay. Uh, Cueto hasn't pitched well. Samarja pitches a lot of innings, not effective. Uh, Moore has been a disappointment. Ty Block, probably your five guy. You don't know about third base. You have nobody in left field. <laughs> you see the what I'm getting at here. Why not uh, send a Cueto out? Why not Nunez? Why not look at Pants? Why not look at Belt and <clears throat> rebuild? Well, you have a lot of contractual issues. Uh, first of all, Cueto is injured now. And uh, he, he's not had a good year. He's had blisters all year. He'd be a rental, but then you have the opt-out clause. So uh, he's got $84 million, uh, possibly getting stuck in October. So he's got no real value right now. Plus, he's hurt. Uh, for Nunez, he has value, and he's an extra player. He's got some speed. So I think Nunez could be traded. Uh, for Brandon Belt, obviously that's someone that the Yankees may be interested in. But they may not want to pay the price for Brandon Belt because they're having some struggles now. They've hit the skids pretty well. Uh, Samarja is someone who gives you a lot of innings. And potentially, if Houston wanted him and you could get some outfielders back from Houston, some AAA players who could become effective major leaguers, I would consider that. But when you talk about Pence and you talk about Span, there's big money here. And they're not having great seasons. So who's going to take on another $12 million for Span? Who's going to take on $27 million for Pence? So it's popular to say, blow it up, get rid of everybody. But the reality is you can't. And you're going to have to get that pitching staff back, and that's going to be the key to next year. What's become popular in some circles in, <clears throat> in, in Major League Baseball is a player that can opt out at the end of the year or is a player eligible for a free agency like Nunez uh, that the players leave and they come back. I've read that both Nunez and Cueto prefer playing in San Francisco, and they're, you know, Theoretically, they uh, get traded, so the Giants get value in return, and they re-sign re them. Well, it could happen, but the team that's getting Cueto doesn't know that. And uh, you get Cueto, and what if he doesn't? First of all, he's not even pitching now because he's got the blister, right. so you have that. So let's say you get him, and you have him for two months. He doesn't have a very good year. And now all of a sudden he says, you know, I don't have a market for $84 million. Uh, I'm going to stay here with the new team. Well, the new team True. is stuck with him, so you can't really do that. Nunez is someone, it would be nice to have him here. He's a good, effective utility player. But you have young players coming up. Those players should get that spot. So I think Nunez, you could get perhaps a minor leaguer back. I don't think it's the end of the world if he leaves. On paper, Christian Arroyo probably uh, the third baseman next year. But still, there's a question mark in left field. I yeah. think the, the, the trial by fire uh, for the Giants did not work in spring training, nor did it work in the regular season. How do they approach this trade deadline, knowing that free agent power hitters, um, you know, around 29-30, like a J.D. Martinez, like a Jay Bruce, who are going to have another payday five years down the line, how do they convince them to come to a place that power hitters don't want to play? Well, you win. Uh, you want to be a World Series They've won champion. before. They've won three World Series, Marty. But it's more, it's more about money, isn't it, than... I hate to say it, players or agents will tell them, listen, you're going to have another big payday, and you may not get those numbers in San Francisco. Well, you overpay. You may have to overpay to get somebody here. But the, the reality is that Austin Slater was sort of given that left field job. He got hurt. He's out for the year. Pence and Span, the metrics tell you they have not had good years defensively. They have not had good years offensively. That's got to change, and I think the Giants understand that. How do you do it? You have to make some trades, try to get some young minor league players in there. You may have to trade some of your minor league pitchers. You may have to trade a Christian Arroyo 
to get a couple of outfielders. You may have to trade Tyler Beatty. You may have to do that because you need outfielders for next year. You, I see you talking to Bobby Evans all the time. Yeah. And um, what your gut <clears throat> feeling, what do you think he's going to do at this point? Well, I think he's, his hands are tied to some extent. Uh, maybe Samarja could be the one thing that could happen. Cueto, I don't think anything is going to happen. I don't think anything's going to happen with Belt. Nunez, perhaps. Yeah. Maybe a Hunter Strickland, maybe a minor league uh, trade uh, for one of the relief pitchers. But I don't see a big splash coming here. I got to go. Pablo, yes or no? Absolutely not. Okay. That's Marty Lurie. <laughs> Marty, always a pleasure. Appreciate the postgame show. Thank you very much. Thanks, Dennis.